Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bloodstained. A lot of these uh, more recent episodes will have been recorded in the same day because uh, I have some free time and I'm spending it on some Bloodstain. Oh hey, a health upgrade and I think that's a new shortcut setup we can use. Nice. Yeah, another shortcut. Don't know... I guess I can put a gun back on. Um, cold urine is still my best one. Let's do hollow points. We can put uh, some different stuff on. Traveler's hat. Deal for extended journeys. Yeah, that one gives strength. So let's just put all the armor on that gives us strength. Armor emblazoned with a cross. And eh, okay, put on spike breastplate. Hmm. Crit ring. Or there was something that increased uh, gun damage, right? Increases my attack based off of how far. Through slide. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, if we're going to use the gun thing, let's just go all in. Um, where is it at? So let's put, let's leave a crit ring on. But let's put the risk ring on. So if we're going to do that, we might as well just remove that and put something better on. Let's re-equip that. The gunman's scarf. And all of those can probably be the same. Yeah, so there we go. We have our gun set up. Eh, I don't, I don't really need to name it. I can see what it is. Okay, so back to our axe. Cool. So now we have a setup just for gun. Go away, bat. Nobody wants you. So what do I have on this current setup. Yeah, words of wisdom. That's what I want. Hi, Scar. Ow. Jerk. What an asshole. I thought better of you, Scar. Uh, let's actually go down and check this door out before we get too far away from it. You look suspicious. No. Okay. Let's actually put that back on, Detective's Eye, for now. Of course, the zone is so small, I don't really think it's useful, actually, because by that point, I'm already right in front of a wall that I'm going to probably smack with my axe anyway to test, so there's no real point in being able to see it. Ow. Stupid bats. You made me look bad. Where's the Cowley Dog fans out there? Anybody? Alright, just me? Cool. Elemental ammunition. That could be useful for a boss that's weak to a certain element. Weird little alcove with nothing in it. Ugh, my leg's itchy. There we go, I think I got it. My body's working against me. It doesn't want me to complete blood stains. I think, um... I think I'm probably just gonna stick with Dola heads for most of the game. They just... I don't know. They seem like the best option for me, personally. Yeah, you look suspicious, alright. Boom. MP max ups for days. And this looks like it just leads right back, yeah, here. Go away, frogs. Hmm. I don't trust you. All right. I'm just I'm just overly suspicious pretty much. All right. Here we go. We're back to this area. Hi. Die. What? Did I just kill that thing in one hit? Okay, just go down. Got some ginger, some hemp, summon simian. 
Wow, we just, we murder everything here. Okay, how did I do that? Oh yeah, it was that. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that was... This is definitely a chest we needed, uh... That for... Black belt. Probably an accessory. Belt worn by Eastern Masters of the Martial Arts increases attack speed. That is actually a really good item. Sadly, I don't really whack with my axe much. But if I did, that would be very useful. Hello. Okay, let's take a peek at this map really quick. Is there anywhere we um, haven't been able to go to that we can now access? There's that one tile. Doesn't seem like there's really anything there. There's these two areas, and I do think there is actually something over there, so I think we might head over there. Alright, Miriam, come on. We're going exploring with our new item. One thing I was thinking about that I was curious of was, uh... So... The, um... Ship. I know there's a treasure chest up there where, um, I have to use this gravity thing to get to it. But what I'm curious about is... What happens if you just fall into the sky? Like, into the ceiling? What happens then? Oh, wait. Have I never gotten this? Flying Edge. You're probably a pretty weak weapon, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. So there was something up here that looked like I missed, so... Bye-bye, doggy. Alright. Let's see. So there's that treasure chest, but there's also this area on the map over here that I want to look into. Just want to take a peek, see if, you know, potentially something I might be missing there. This appears just to be, uh, yeah, one of those chests. Nothing special there, but, uh, the map, uh, the squares on the map is what I want to fill in mostly. Wait, did I have to, yeah, I have to get over there like that, don't I? Unfortunate. Where you at? I hear you. Okay, well, let's just invert. Uh, that's not what I want to be doing, actually. I want to fall. Um, this way looks like it has something. No, okay. There's a treasure chest. But it is... right here. Huh. Actually kind of awkwardly positioned now that I think about it. Maybe we should just get on the uh, elevator and just... get those uh, couple of map squares, see if there was anything that I needed there, and be on our merry way. I think that is what I will do. Hmm. Traversing this environment is definitely just weird because, I don't know, the map just doesn't feel like it actually goes with everything that you see. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But like, see, there's supposed to be like a little wall right there, but there's not because I'm moving cir uh, in a circle, circular pattern. Okay, well, let's just... Keep going up as far as we can, I guess. And this definitely makes this a lot easier. <clears throat> um, hello. I don't think I've gotten you before. There we go. 
This is somewhere we needed to get to. Oh yeah, you're the ones that give me the uh, lightning attack. Okay, yeah, this is what we want. Cool. And yeah, there... There's the elevator. Yeah, that's what we want. Good old elevator. Which we don't... Oh, well, we need the gates to be... Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Alright. So... Let's see, there's nothing there, but it's mostly just these corners here that I want to check. Because there could be a health of sneaky little uh, health upgrade hiding there. And uh, for bosses and stuff, we're going to want all the health upgrades we can get. Let's just hit up a little save. Okay, there's that. I'll probably want to go back to the boat soon, too. Oh, hey, shield boy. Directed shield. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Alright, outside we go. And yeah, this. Um, there we go. Huh. Okay, yeah, that. There we go. A Valkyrie dress. Ooh, you seem strong. The Ward Maiden's distinct dress. Now that that actually seems pretty good. I think I might equip that one actually. I lose a little bit of intelligence and mind, but that defense increase is great, and we also get some luck out of it. Plus it changes our appearance, it looks like. Hey, Miriam, looking good. So yeah, that was definitely a good find. I'm happy about that one. There's also something over there. Not sure how to get to that, though. Hmm. Maybe if I just go this way? Yeah, huh. Not super sure how to get to this one. Because, yeah, see, on the map, it's like it comes out that way, but it doesn't actually. I don't know. The map here is very wonky. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay. Can I just go up this way? Oop. Getting a little bit of a lag there. There's definitely another treasure chest there. I just don't know how to get to it. Okay, we've wrapped back around. Maybe if I just keep going this way, I'll eventually see it and I can just reverse gravity to get to it? Otherwise, I really don't know. Yeah, like I said, this area is just kind of weird to me. The way it's kind of laid out is just awkward. That, I think, is the area right above us. Whoa. Lag. Yeah, I can... I can get why this area is sort of laggy. Okay, there's... Oh, wait, we're just right back where we started, aren't we? Damn. Hmm. And that's it over there. But I'm not sure how to get over there. Well... Let's, let's just walk through here and see if maybe it takes us over to where we need to go. No, this is just back where I came from. Okay, well, let's just progress down the castle, I guess? No, we probably do need to go up. I don't know. Like I said, this area... Bonkers. Said that a million times already, I know, but boy... At least we get to kill more of the Axe Boys. And we found, the, found this full, uh, full, cool Valkyrie armor. Okay, so we didn't go up last time, so maybe 
Maybe the solution is to go up. Is there gonna be a bunch of doula heads in here? Yeah. I wish I could count how many doula hammer. Well, I I can count how many doula hammer helms, doula head helms I have because it shows you. But I probably have a lot of those. Hmm. Oh, well, there's emerald ruby and sapphire. Uh. So yeah, the only other idea I have is to kind of go to that area and go all the way to the bottom and see if I can walk under it and then just reverse gravity. Only other idea I have is Miriam tea bags to let the uh, let the uh, elevator know where she, uh, what she's trying to do. Okay, yeah, this might work. Um, or not. What happens if I do this? Um, was that intended? I really don't feel like it was. Oh yeah, no, that wasn't intended. I might have busted the game a little bit, and also I'm back exactly where I fucking started. Jesus. Well, we might not get that item, but I did fill in the uh, tile on the map at the very least with that weird fuckery that I did, so... I can't get the treasure chest, but I have gotten the map tile, which is good enough for me, I suppose. If I want to come back on my own time and fuck with it to see if I can get what's in the chest, I'll do it, but... The Valkyrie armor is a good enough find for me. Now we just need to get out of here. This is a bit longer of a uh, little, uh, I don't want to say side quest, but a little sidetrack than uh, I wanted. Yeah, let's just drop down. There we go. Alright, what's the fastest way out of here? Where am I? Down here. Oh, I'll definitely take the elevator all the way up. I feel like we're on the uh, home stretch with Bloodstained here. It's been a really fun experience so far. And uh, I do believe there are multiple campaigns, so I'll definitely be giving those a shot if uh, there are. Like, I can play as different characters. Ooh, I wonder who it could be. More welcome companies. Ooh. All right. Let's, um, yeah, let's head back here. Why not? That's almost back to Arvinville, and there is that one other thing I wanted to check in on. So, why not? I don't remember what we got here last time. Hi, Morte. Are you guys ever going to give me your shard? It'd be really nice. There's no treasure chest that I'm missing here. Oh, wait, no, there's that one. Yeah, I need to get that. Well. Everything is just going to melt here. Because, boy, it's been a while since we've been here. I'm curious if I even needed, um... Curious if I even needed the uh, abilities that I have now to access a lot of this. Huh. Can't fall through this way. Oh yeah, Cerulean Splash. One of the first shards we ever got. Aha. Uh -huh. And there's Modok himself. It's like I'm it's like I'm waxing nostalgia here. I'm starting to get a little teary-eyed. Seeing all my, uh, all my old friends. Yeah, it does. It, it actually doesn't seem like that long ago I was starting this up for the first time. I don't know. Elping for me is just fun, because... Uh, it's like sharing your experience with someone. And also, um... 
just having like a record of your experiences for you yourself to watch sometime potentially. That interests me. You know, kind of getting to uh, relive the fun I had. Yeah, I knew it. Lunder's ring. What did that do again? Ring that increases the rate of item drops. Okay, so we have like increased experience, increased gold, and increased item drops. So basically something for everything. I got a steel breastplate apparently. Oh yeah, this weapon is what I wanted to look at. Sanjigan. Three section staff with extendable joints. Sounds neat. And now we go up and get that last other treasure chest. Oh wow. Every wow, my Dulla heads just one hit things here. That's how uh, low the enemies here have fallen. I always think about uh, instances like that in games where the enemies at the start are super weak. Like, what would main character have done if like some of the later enemies had just appeared? Like, what if the flame scars were here? Or even the regular scars, probably. They would have annihilated me. Poor Miriam wouldn't have known what to do. Alright. So let's... There we go. What do you have for me? Just a pirate hat. I already have one of those. I'm pretty sure. Yep, now I have two. Fantastic. I'm not angry, you're angry. Alright, back to Arvinville we go. I'm pretty sure that area is cleared up now. Yeah, that's pretty much done. So hooray, we filled in some of those missing squares on the map. I'm sure I'm going to be at like 97% once I hit the end of the game because there are going to be some like uh, breakable wall squares that I never got. It's poor enemies. Poor, poor enemies. What was it you wanted? Tea dress. That's right. I have some stuff for you, Harry. Rice. Can you sure? Cool. All right, Lindsay. Did we have anything to turn in with you? Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on monsters. Mm, doesn't look like it. Let's go check in with Dominique. Hi, Dominique. I can buy back shop. What cool. are you to buy? You said that last time. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Let's buy nine of those. Why not? And I don't think you sell anything interesting otherwise. I still need to find out what I need for... I know I've looked at what I needed for white sauce once before. Also, while I'm thinking about it, we should go back to... What was his name? Benjamin? It's good. So, what will it be? Okay, white sauce... Can I not even make? Okay, there it is. We still need beast milk, damn it. Oh, I can make curry sauce. Oh yeah, let's make some of that. Go with this. There we are. Prepare. Oh, I can make a bunch of stuff. Oh, seafood curry. Curry and rice is pretty disappointing, actually, but we can make pork curry and seafood curry. Yeah. That stuff's really good. Eight extra intelligence? Like, that is some strong food. Can we enhance any shards? No. We still need what? Like, some kind of cloth or something? Yeah. All right. Well, let's nom our new food. Pork curry, and now we have some extra intelligence. Look at those beautiful stats. Oh yeah, we should save really quick. All right here, I'm not making the mistake of losing all that progress again. It's just not happening. 
All right, so the thing I just want to do really quick is I want to run back to where Benjamin was. And while I'm thinking about it, give him um, the uh, teleporter stone that he asked for that we rudely did not provide him. Because he's probably uh, not doing too good down there. All right, Benjamin was there. I think this is probably the best way to get to him. Man, this game should get a should get some kind of age rating for all these skirt shots. Like, come on. Oop. Money. I thought that was I thought the I just realized the symbol in the logo, it kind of looks like the uh symbol for stuff in Super Smash Brothers. Cuz I I like looked I like double did a double take because I was like, "Wait, what?" Um, okay. Map's getting very large now. Which thus makes it very confusing. Wow, we haven't seen a lot of you in ages. I need some more of that curry, though. Because we can still make curry and rice, which increases our HP by 40. Sorry, everyone. The murder brigade is here to put you out of your misery. Oh, that said beast beef. I was so excited. I thought I got beast milk for a second. Oop. This isn't the right way. I think sliding might actually be faster. If you're just going in a straight line, that is. Hello. Dead. We need witch's tears for something. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was about to say, please let me go down here. I'll be so sad if you don't. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit faster sometimes. Keep that in mind. Especially now that we're traversing old areas once again. Hello. Okay. I won't save. Because we did save just back there, and I don't think I'm going to die. I mean, for the enemies in this area, I'm quite strong, so... We just won't worry about it. Okay, it's one down. Alright, buddy. We got your teleporter stone. You better do it correctly this time. I mean, hey, 5,000 gold, I, I suppose that was worth it. I don't really care about money that much, but... Oh, hey. A sapphire. Okay. I... You know what? How about we just pop one of those teleporter stones ourselves? There we go. Now, I imagine he's somewhere else in the world now. Lost. Scared. Afraid. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit up this save point. I think that'll be it for this video. Kind of just a backtrack video, but hey, there were some things I wanted to pick up. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.